Hello and welcome to Cannabis Talk 101, the world's number one source for everything cannabis. My name is Blue, alongside of me is Mr. Joe Grande, and you're now watching Parts Unbaked. Yes, thank you guys for listening to the podcast, Cannabis Talk 101, all around the world. Make sure you check out our website, CannabisTalk101.com, as we have so many great articles and blogs on the site for you to check out. Plus, we have the new magazine. You definitely want to check that out, you guys. Feel free to give us a call anytime, 1-800-420-1980. And check out the IG pages at Cannabis Talk 101, my brother from another mother, Blue is at the number one Christopher Wright and you can always find me on the gram at Joe Grande 52 and I gotta remind you guys about the Bear Flag Group it's your white label partners they're known to be on time accurate and do quality co-packaging they've been launching brands in California since 2015 and at the Bear Flag Group they do what they say they're gonna do so go check them out online bearflaggroup.com on the show today we got Heidi from Loran Oils back <laughs> aka Miss Muscles in the building I mean I didn't know she was gonna come back all swollen and stuff. If you watched the shows before, she was at this world. Check the steroids. I don't know if Loran Oil is doing that, but I'm Whoa. just saying check what's going on. Check out their website as well, LoranOils.com L-O-R-A-N-N-O-I-L-S.com Hopefully there's pictures of you on the website, Heidi, because <laughs> I didn't know uh, walking into this. She's your senior business development manager at Loran Oils, and you are now tuned in to Parts Unbaked, our Parts Unbaked, excuse me, our special cooking show here at the Cannabis Talk 101 Kitchen. Now, Loran Oils has been manufacturing and distributing premium flavoring and essential oils for over 60 years at Loran Oils. They were started out in 1962 and originally bottled and distributed about eight to 10 core essential oils, such as peppermint and clove and distribution was limited to just pharmacies folks so they're just dealing with pharmacies only now over the years the business has expanded its product offerings and now they sell to a wide variety of retailers manufacturers health practitioners and home consumers and you can pick it up at a store near you today the company services over 30,000 customers in 51 countries Let's we go. are back in the kitchen Let's and go. we also have our man my brother from another mother chef jay in the building and, uh, from J Farms. So, without further ado, you guys, welcome back to Parts Unbaked. Let's Thank go. You. Thank you for having what, us. What are we doing today? I I, I really kind of know, but I don't know. So, what are we doing today, Heidi? We are doing a five or six ingredient chocolate mousse. Yep. A chocolate mousse. Now, when yep. you say chocolate mousse, is mousse. chocolate mousse <laughs> only to go on top of something? Do you eat it plain? You can eat I don't it know. Plain. You can do it all. You can mix it in layers for cakes. You can do a hundred different things with it. That's what I'm saying, because for moose, I'm not a big moose guy. I'm a big moose knuckle guy, yeah. but I'm not a big moose eater. You know what I mean? I got you. Um, it's one of those things. I but once you know, I try you this, up. you're going to have to be changed. But it's funny because like, that's why I asked him, like, what is moose What's normally moose? for? Like, what is it just like? Usually, like Jello, you can eat Jello alone. So usually we come like chocolate pudding, but they made it a little fancier chocolate mousse. They put in the whipped cream and made it a little fresh and fluffier. Oh, and that and people can just enjoy yeah. it. But I, I'm not a mousse guy. But you would put it with a little cookie in there or some fresh berries. Does that does it does, because you're using the whipped cream? You said whipped cream. Yeah, that can be one base. Well, if, if today you, we're going to use yogurt. Okay, so the, a little but healthier. Is it, is it a little yeah. healthier than? Yes, th yeah. that's exactly my question. Was is it healthier? One hundred percent, and it's oh. also you know Blue's simple. been working out. He can't have no you know I, whipped you know. cream. <laughs> He didn't even want to put I, on that apron right there. I, I, he was like, I, I, told I can't the put on the apron, you guys. I I, it's going to hide my uh, abs right now. I told the doc I was going to work out, and I did my thing. I'm not, you know what I mean? Don't talk good, about though. it. You've got to be about good. it. He is looking yes. good. So, wh so what do we have here? We have a, a, a mousse. Simple, How many ingredients? ingredients? Chocolate, yogurt, flavorings, and the cannabis, which is going to be our rosin from the waffles and syrup, my, my uh, J Farms. So if somebody's listening and wants to make it right now, what do they have to prep to get this mousse? We're, we're gonna have order. the recipe up on the, the site. You'll be able to see that Cannabis Talk 101, but it's simple, literally. Uh, a cup of chocolate, a cup of- uh, And when you say a cup of chocolate- Chocolate that's not, chips. Thank you. So chocolate chips that we're gonna melt on a double boiler. A cup of uh, yogurt. Loran oils. Loran oils. We're going to use a quarter teaspoon of vanilla bean paste. We're going to use a quarter teaspoon of raspberry flavor. And then we're going to use one gram of rosin, which will give this a real nice kick, a thousand milligrams of THC. Wow. So this uh, is going to be some, and you forgot about the raspberries. That's yes. our garnish. We're going to garnish it with and make it look pretty. And then we'll have some cookies for some little texture. So you'll, you're going to start to really enjoy this. <laughs> now, as Joe's you talk pass about out this, on this one. yeah, exactly. My diabetes is already pressuring my, me right now. When you talk about the double boiling, I've never done anything like this personally. 
Okay, so look so, at this. Look at this. Mm, beautiful. See, oh, I wish, wow. Can we show? Can we show them? In the look thing? at that right so there. So the chocolate is melting beautifully. So now since it's hot, it's at the right temperature. So you're boiling water already. And you turned it off. As soon as it comes to boil, you turn it off and let it sit or you'll burn the chocolate. Should the water be so high that it no. touches yeah. the thing? About an inch or two above it, just so it boils, and then turn it off. Above the okay. above the the, the, the the little bottom of the water. Okay, ratchet. so just okay. Uh, up to you your finger line almost. You don't want it to touch the bowl. Okay. okay, so just a little bit of water in there. Sometimes when I'm thinking boiling water, you need to do the whole thing like you're boiling corn or something. You know what I mean? No. No, so just a little bit. That's right. So now I'm taking the rosin here. We got a gram of rosin, and we're going to mix it into the chocolate. Let that what melt. rosin is that? Is that your rosin That's there? That's our J Farms uh, waffles and syrup. Oh, watch diamonds. out, folks. Okay. J Farms is in the building. So now we look, it melts right in because the temperature is exactly at the right temperature. As soon as you bring it to boil, turn it off, the chocolate will melt and it'll be at the exact temperature. We're going to add, would you add the flavorings for us yes. there? Here's your little measure. And what food. are these flavors that we're adding? So we're going to go with the Royal Raspberry Super Strength flavoring. It's from our most concentrated line, and this is an oil soluble. Um, chocolate's a little bit finicky to work with. You don't want to use anything that has water in it. Um, but if you're doing something like a, a mousse or ganache, the rules change a little bit. So solubility doesn't matter quite as much. Why uh, is it so hard to work with it when you talk about chocolate like that? Because water doesn't go with chocolate. Because that's the, of the enemy of chocolate is it. water. It'll seize it up. So if you were doing something like a double boiler and you were doing a molded chocolate, you want to make sure that none of that steam is going back into the bowl. You want to make sure that you're wiping that's the bottom of the That's why the bowl's the bowl. higher than the, the thing, you see, because the steam will come up and go one in there. One little drop ruin will ruin all of your chocolate. Literally. Literally? One, one, one little one drop, drop of water. water. It'll seize It'll it. It'll seize it. It'll turn to a brick. Oh, really? There's I, something I about your oils that just get me like every time. I'm, smell? Yes, of I course. Do that's that raspberry. I want to smell too. Oh, my God. It just smells so clean and quality, right? It is so good. I mean, when you come up, literally, we talk about Loran oils. Every time an edible comes in, this building our new company is doing well we just talked about See, it the other day on a random show going i, I wonder if they're using loran oils because that cooking company is killing it so now look how simple this recipe is for somebody at home that wants to do this it literally is five ingredients too. that's the vanilla bean from madagascar that's smell? incredible that's wow. true vanilla beans. I just want to eat the whole no. thing. This is your guys' as well? Yes. Yep. This is our it's organic so, Madagascar like, strong, vanilla too. It's like yeah. I took a whoof of that. And I was like, I feel yeah. like I put a bean in my nose. This is like, like one of those like waffle yeah. situations. Okay, so look. So now your chocolate's got beautiful texture. Why did you turn the heat I want to warm on. it up just slightly because now I'm going to bring it back to the temperature where I wanted it just to warm it slightly so it'll melt a little bit. It'll start to thicken. And Is gonna... it always better to use a hand whipper or like I've noticed sometimes people use the electric one? It depends. Well, no, we're not trying to whip it to get air so that you don't need. So here now. So I'm only gonna... hand. For this, for this particular. So now would you pull the whole bowl off of the, 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 the burner? Be careful for you, it might be hot. Is it hot? Nope. Just turn it down. So then all you gotta do now is just mix this in together. We can show the camera, people can see. You wanna work quickly because the, you don't want the cold to set up the chocolate. So you wanna mix it all well. Now you got a beautiful mousse. Oh, it's, it's okay, I turn it off. It'd actually be good to keep it, if you needed to keep it warm, you could put it there. So now look, you got this beautiful chocolate mousse. Look at that texture. Yeah, it does look nice. The way you guys whip and do things is just special. You know what I mean? I mean, I just, I don't cook like that at home. I, and I think I'm a cook, but I watch them like, how come I can't do that? So the main thing is now, the, the, we have to take this and let it set for about three to four hours in the fridge. And what I would normally do, like Heidi did, she put it in a beautiful glass, which we're going to bring out and show you the finish. And you can decorate it with the berries and the cookies and get it all set. But this is it. I mean, you want to take a little finger in there? Don't be scared. No, not I yet. Don't. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Don't be nervous. That has too much rosin for me to be tasting. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's amazing. Oh, I'm sure it is. Oh. It yeah. looks wonderful. I'm not even going to make it to the next show. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty much your chocolate mousse. Very simple, very delicious, mm. and uh, we're going to show you the final. The final. Uh, so once you whip these simple ingredients right there, those one, two, three, four ingredients, five, five with or if you don't want to put cannabis, cannabis in it, exactly, you don't have to. Five ingredients. It takes literally heating up the water, starting. That's about a five minute, twenty heat, minutes from the start to finish to literally get this. To what you just beautiful, did. and you can quadruple four times the recipe and make enough to serve six to eight people. Fill up all the glasses. How much will this serve? This will serve probably two to three. Well, that's a big servings there. Actually, yeah. four. Let's just say four. Yeah, I would think four people on I a think yeah. six or eight. 
Yeah, I guess. Well, yeah, all you need is a I keep forgetting that the middle one is good. You just need a little bit. You, need a, you bit. just need a little bit. A little top of style. What would be good is actually put some berries in and then put that over the top of the berries. Well, we're going to take mm. a break. We're going to come back and see what Chef Jay and Heidi from the Rand Oils is doing. Jay Farms, check them out online as well. Jayfarms.com. ChefJay.com. ChefJay.com. It's official like a referee with a whistle, baby. You're looking slick. Oh, it's you. Cannabis Talk 101. We'll be right back after right, this. Right. Boom. Cannabis has been proven to greatly ease the suffering of pain without the side effects of addiction and death. In fact, from research from the National Institute of Health, it shows that we can reduce, we can replace opioids with cannabis 64% of the time when we need medication for pain. And oftentimes the side effects are much, much better. They're not addiction and death, they're dry mouth, constipation, and maybe feeling a little groggy the next day. Now, what if we could apply that 64% number to the statistics I gave you earlier? What if we could have 64% less addiction? What if we could have 64% less death? That's thousands and thousands of lives that we get to recoup every month. These are our brothers, our sisters, our community members. It's not just their lives. It's their gifts, their talents, and their love. Chalmers Wellness, you guys, is a full-service rehabilitation and recovery facility. Plus, he's Tony's personal doctor. I wish he was mine. Jeez, I could use an enema. And they work with patients to identify, treat, and manage a wide variety of issues, including weight loss or gain, digestive problems, chronic fatigue, pain, injuries, sciatic diseases, chiropractic problems, fibromyalgia, carpal tunnel syndrome, and plantar fasciitis. Now, medical doctors regularly refer patients to Dr. Chalmers when traditional medications and medicines and treatments are not working for their patients. For more information, make sure you go check out my man's website, chalmerswellness.com. Or call him direct. The phone number is 214-446-5300. Welcome back, you guys, to Parts Unbaked with Heidi from Loran Oils and Chef Jay of Jay Farms. A real quick reminder about Loran Oils. Been around for over 60 years. The pharmacist O.K. Gettenberger founded Loran Oils in 1962 and named the company in honor of his wife, Laura and their only daughter, Anne. I always love that story. Yeah, I just always want to remind story. people really about is. a thing that started so long ago and that's such film. quality. You know, what, when you're dealing with something like this, folks, I like to bring that up because this is what the company is. And you've difference. landed in a great place, uh, yes. Heidi. So now that we have this, you guys, and we're going to get to the cookbook too in a little bit, but this is the finished product that's cooled down now. And you guys already garnished it with berries. But Chef Jay, you mentioned something on the break that people can do with this once they have it all whipped and it's cooled. Yeah, once you have your chocolate mousse and it's set up, you can literally take this and put it into a piping bag and you could pipe it into the glass here so that you can, you know, have a design nice, put your berries on. When you say piping bag, can I just use my Target bag that I got from Target as well? And just, we, I don't know, maybe because does everybody have well, a piping well, bag? Well, the best to do is if you don't have is take a Ziploc bag. A Ziploc, okay. Fill it up, squeeze it to the corner, cut the tip, and there's your thing. Because not everybody's a chef I'm, I'm like you guys. Not Target, right? though. But yeah, yes, not Target. Ziploc for sure. Ziploc, but Ziploc that's why I asked. Sure. I didn't target. know. I, you know I target sounds Walmart. a little bit, you know. Hey, bad, a bag's but, a bag in my book sometimes, uh, but I don't know. Come here, let me show you a bag. Two, two Oreo <laughs> cookies, you guys. Something simple. Ooh. Right into your mousse to finish off for a little texture. You got your fresh berries. I mean, it doesn't get any better or simpler. I hope you guys try this recipe. Check it out. Cannabis Talk 101. Joe Grande, Big Blue in the house. Laron Oils, Miss Heidi. We appreciate you guys. I really have, appreciate you having me on. So, Chef Jay and Heidi, when you look at a dessert like this, when is it more appropriate to serve this? Because like I said, I've never been to a party, so to speak. Maybe with I'm the not mousse? the guy with mousse being served as the yeah, primary. What, what I feel me? like it's a it's a high end pinky up style thing. Like, I don't know. Well, like, so it, so like it, if you would have we would serve that at a party, I would have a marinated chocolate cake at the bottom. Ooh, yeah. So you would see that. Then I do layers with the raspberries and the mousse. That's how what I are you would, a chef? Yeah. I mean you're making us all water in the mouth. Yeah. I would do this, I, I would do that. Hey, yeah. Well, you could have done it here, jerk off. I mean, we wanted to make it simple. Yeah, yeah. well, you the other know, way it would take too long. That does take a long time, but th that's how you take it to the next level. Because that's I how you like, show up with the pinky up at the, the party. The pinky, yeah, like I said, sure. because when, when <laughs> even you see these at restaurants, I feel like it's at your high-end restaurant. Yes. You 
don't get moose even at, you know. Is that the more high end? Like yeah, you said. pick your spot. It's not yeah. like at, you know, normal restaurants at, you know, Denny's, whatever that you're going to. That they had good. moose at my birthday party, dude. Yeah, well, that was your birthday. That was at the country club. Hello. It was at the country club. <laughs> Excuse me. So, Excuse me. That, but the that point to party. this is. That was a good party. <laughs> it's so simple to make that that's why I'm shocked about it because we just made this with four ingredients. Not expensive. A cup of chocolate chips. Sure. That bag's about five bucks. Yeah, what right. would this, you know what mean? this total thing $10. cost us? The That's whole, what I mean. With, without the marijuana, $10. And then with the with cannabis? Uh... Forty-five, maybe twenty-five dollars. Twenty-five dollars, and you could order I that right now. <laughs> yeah, you can order that. Out. Just yeah. call me if you want to order that. Five six two seven four six. That's awesome. It's really his number. That, and that's what's funny about this dessert, you guys. Is I'm tripping in my head because I'm looking at how you guys made this, and, and I was beyond belief of how simple, cheap, and easy it was. Inexpensive, not cheap. But you know what I mean? Inexpensive, yes. Yeah. But it, you know, I look at it thinking, I always in my head thought moose was going to be real expensive and hard to make. And I had using, no idea it was... Well, there's Not that you recipes. guys are easy, but it's so easy. There's they were using Toll House, too, like the yeah. really good chocolate chips. Oh, so that was a good expensive bag of $5 <laughs> chips. I mean, even though they were... I mean, you can buy Nestle, whatever you want. Is there a certain type of chip that we um, actually is use dairy free for this one? Oh, you could dairy. get, you could get if you want to go fancy, the the called Girardelli. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. for out of San Francisco. Yes, yeah. Pinky or, up. or you want to step it up, you go Valrona. But then you have to order those special because they don't sell them. Are those street. from Italy? Those are from France. France, it's the best chocolate in the world. Is it? Is it? Is it a milk chocolate? Milk chocolate, they dark chocolate. They have all the chocolate. chocolates. Really? But you buy them in ten pound blocks. The whole block. One block, and it costs like $300. Are wow. you serious? Yeah. I think they have ruby chocolate now, have, too. They, yes. And they have hazelnut chocolate. It's called Jean Joua. Mm. Wow. It tastes like hazelnuts. Oh, yeah. my goodness. It's incredible. That's the thing about certain foods. That's the nice thing about the mousse, too, is like yeah. it is so versatile. Like right. this is a very easy version of it, but you can step it up. You can do the um, heavy cream version of it and, and make cake layers and things yeah. like that. It's I like the fact that you guys did the yogurt healthy style. Just if it was a um, cream, which we've made the cream for coffee here. And I got to tell you, ever oh, since yeah. you made that cream, I've never <laughs> forgot it. The it's, cream, like, it's, 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 it's literally was like the best coffee it, it cream really I've is. ever had in my life. It really like is. Like all kidding aside. And every time we would look at each other like, Oh, yeah. like we'll have a cup of coffee. Like, oh, that Lorraine, we should make that. And it was so simple. <laughs> it was here for a while. And then we were, yeah, we, we were lost using it. it yeah. And then it disappeared. It, then was, it was like such like, a good one. So when you're making a cream real. like that too, that's all products that you can get from Lorraine Oils as well, correct? Yes. Yep. And what are those products exactly? Um, so we have our Royal Raspberry Super Strength Flavoring and our Madaga Madagascar Pure Vanilla Bean Paste. So we what have is to add this those... into that price too, because we yeah, what add are, that what are these that. costs? Well, well, it's a fraction of what- the, Well, you still the, gotta have it in your, in your sure, kitchen. Yeah. So it's part of the yeah. cost. So what does something like this run? Um, retail about fifteen dollars. It's still not bad yeah. because yeah. you're going to have a lot of cooking oh, yeah. with that. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you're going to be It'll able to bake exactly. Time. Yeah. That, I mean, Four it's part of, is a lot of having salt and pepper in your cupboard. You have yeah, to have yeah, something exactly. like this, yeah. so it's not like. And, then, and what about this one? Um, that'll be around ten dollars. Nice. Yeah, that's a normal price. That's fantastic. fantastic. Yeah. And these are really high quality. Like you just need a little. And bit literally, of, like yeah. you should use a quarter teaspoon. Yeah, it was, and that literally now has a raspberry flavor. And when you eat it with the berries, it'll really accent it so nicely. The chocolate's a great carrier. Mm -hmm. Heidi, how long do those last in the cupboard? Because if I'm not baking and making oh, things yeah. all the time, like if I buy something like these oils that you guys have, what's the longevity? So we don't ship anything out without less or with less than a year on it, but we turn product over so quickly that they generally have two to three years on them, um, but it's a best buy date. It, it's not a use by date. Um, there's nothing in these that go rancid. So the only thing that's going to impact the flavor quality is oxidation. So as you're opening up containers, um, light, that's why we put things in amber bottles so we can keep it protected. Um, you could have these. We have every Christmas we have people calling us up and saying that they have stuff in their cupboards um, from five years ago. It's still fine to use as long as there's no off smell to it. Nothing's gotten into the bottle. The only thing that might be impacted is like the actual flavor integrity. It might lessen, but there's nothing that's going to hurt. So as you're serving it. it, maybe don't let your kids grab it and pour it and get their Correct. pinkies inside yes. of it. Yeah, you want everything keep it else. Clean. It's like yeah. it's always fun to cook with the kids and yeah. everybody during the holidays. <laughs> but it's like you might ruin your oil, guys, and it might not be. I, I'm thinking about my house, and that's what my kids would do. Well, yeah, I think licking the, fingers and touching. Totally. Proper serving utensils cats. is the best. 
Yes. And making sure yes. they're clean before they get too close. And to highly suggest Washing your hands. Well, first. let's take a break. Come back. We're going to try it. And we're going to talk about this cookbook that you guys have out. Because right. I heard Chef Jay is not only in the building, <laughs> but he's also in the cookbook. Man. It's Cannabis Talk 101, Parts and Baked. We'll be right back after let's this. Go. Why the fuck these niggas talking this low league? Talk cash out the bitch a thousand, it's the little things. Bus clan, yeah, honcho with us on the east. I'ma be the first in that rest of honey beats. Talk my business, I ain't shit, yeah, I'm for the streets. You want niggas to perform, we need a hundred each. Off a alley with your bitch, I ain't going to sleep. You be wiping all the bitches, that be honest to me. Welcome back to Parts Unbaked with Loran Oils. We have Heidi from Loran Oils as well as Chef Jay from Jay Farms. And I got to remind you guys, if you're looking for a quickie, folks, check out Quickie Pre-Rolls. Check them out online at quickieprerolls.com or on the IG, Quickie Pre-Rolls with three S's at the end. Everybody loves a quickie. I want to thank everybody around here that makes it happen. Captain from Adrian, Alex A, Alex C, Mondo, Madison. I love you, Madison. Novelli, Teddy the Show Dog, Daniel, Connor, Cam, Cassie, Beach Bar, Salar, Alex. Sunday, Goldie, Brother Pitt, Mark Carnes, Chris Franchino, Jennifer, Erica, and Elvis. Thank you guys all for doing what you do. Now is my favorite part of the show, Blue. Mm. It is the taste testing Tell time. me, Joe. And I'm going <laughs> to grab it. And Just since put I'm your here, whole face in Blue, it. please take the honors. Grab one of these cookies. I asked for spoons. And they go, Heidi said. The cookie is the spoon. That's Get it. that with a raspberry on top. I mean, oh, oh that's yeah, it right go ahead, there. Blue. That just it's, that I, just came up like I it was burned. meant to be. <laughs> you see how that it just like, grabbed on, right? Yeah. Like, I shouldn't even be doing this, but I appreciate you guys getting the thin one. Just yes. and, and that's dairy that was, free. It's, sorry, it's dairy it's okay. free. Yeah, here we go. It's all right. Mm. Simple but delicious. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Chef Jay. Saying it's simple but delicious. We're, you're double dipping, I see. It's allowed. I don't think anybody else is going to. You just I mean, put your whole mouth in that cup. Yeah, that's I'm, your I'm, cup I'm, now. I, no, I, look, you see how I did it, though? You see yeah. how I did that? I did yeah. that. I, I took a, I oh, took a straight this strategic each bite double with dip. The, each bite with the raspberry. See, that's the way to do it. Mm -hmm. Cookie, loose, I the, mm, See how mm -hmm, simple mm -hmm, but delicious mm -hmm. that is? You can make that at home, Joe, for the kids. They would love that. Literally. I can't see nobody not loving that actually. Because you know what I like about it, really? The yogurt. No, no. It's not so over chocolate. Rich, right. You know what I mean? Like it's not so the rich. The yogurt where, cuts that. The yogurt is what cuts I that. I mean, what's crazy about this is in my head, I think of chocolate mousse as so strong. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Rich. Right. Rich. That's what I've I had in the past. Oh, I've it, never which, had anything this light. Refreshing. You never had a chef well, chain what's of really, oil. What's really crazy is you mix. just took 300 milligrams of cannabis. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> well, there you go, you guys. I'll see you at the next meeting. <laughs> oh, that would be a problem. <laughs> that would be a problem for me. Yeah. But if you want to do this, you know, th this one obviously is not medicated. That one is. It is phenomenal. And I'm sure that tastes the same way because you only put a little thing and you can't even taste the cannabis. No, no, yeah. It, no, it, you it, never tasted it. Really, it, 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 it really did. you taste it? Yeah, I, I did. I tasted this one. Did you guys taste the cannabis one, in it? I, I feel like was licking it. Was this one, so was there, was this one refrigerated? Yes. 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 So the what's the difference? Huge difference. There's a better, it's a curing process, obviously. Yeah, that, that four I mean, hours it's supposed to take. Really? Since, so when you make this, this goes in the fridge now for four hours and it'll all really congeal. The flavors will start to really melt. The raspberry will come out even more. It's called blooming. It'll start to bloom. Then you go to eat it four hours. Usually what I do- I mean, I you can see the color overnight. texture. Yes. And, and then the, the, the coolness of Great it point, all. The color texture I, I tasted well. this one right off the bat and it was good. Really good. Tasted a little darker, a little more- just it's kind of almost sweeter. Flat. I don't it's know why it's a little flat. flatter. Yeah, this one flatter. was more of a it, it, you curing. I can it, it, the only way I can explain it in in cannabis terms is curing. Yeah. Anybody that knows, you know, the like. But in like, cooking terms, did it sit more? Did you get more flavor that it sat oh, there this longer? Is way, this is more flavorful than that one, and was, a little right? bit more um, fluffy, if you will. Mm -hmm. even, li even lighter. Lighter, a little lighter. This yeah. was a more dense. Yeah. And it was this really feels good. fluffy and light, like you said, easy yeah. and light. It's but, so but I think it's because well it's said. in the refrigerator. Yes. Yeah, right. 100%. That's, I mean, it's a little. The well, color's you guys, you, you just heard about this recipe. You got to try that. And for those that are listening at home parts unbaked a culinary cal uh, collaboration infused with love is the brand new cookbook you guys and help is available 24 7 if you're struggling with mental help dial 988 to speak with somebody today free and confidential i love that you guys are putting this on the back of your guys's yeah. new book that right there just goes to show you once again what a company like yours is and as we're shooting this it is suicide awareness month 
And so it is dear and near to a lot of our hearts. And I have friends. And in fact, we're also taking on a show right now with a, a gentleman by the name of Suicide, OG Suicide, who is a suicide survivor. Uh, he had tried to take his own life. And was, um, cool. was very. Uh, it's funny how this came up right now. And like I didn't know this. Up. Yeah, I didn't know that yeah. was in the back, and I just read that as yeah. a wow. I'd like uh, to, yeah. I, I really love and admire Loran Oils for doing what they do. So, folks, you can order this book where. Um, we are giving them out for free. Oh. Um, we have a limited supply of hard copies, so if you'd like one, Heidi at LoranOils.com, just reach out to me. Um, we also have a digital version um, that has links to all of the contributing chefs' Instagram pages and um, the mental health resources in the back as well. Well, one of the things I want to point out isn't one of these <laughs> drinks. It is a Chef Jason J. Harley, founder of OG Kitchen, is all about making the world a better place through infused food products and cannabis catered events. Ladies and gentlemen, Mira. Mira. My brother from another mother, Chef J made it in the book. Mama, he made it. Mama, he made it. Chef Jay, what is it like to be in such a, you know, high class quality Loran oil has been around 60 plus years. It's not a new cooking style, new cooking. Like this is official. No. You know, Loran what? oils is, is big. I feel very blessed and honored and we're going to continue working together and we got lots of great things coming up. Let me, let what me did ask you make? You, are you my dad? <laughs> <laughs> you could look like, actually you guys could look related. Yeah. Um, Chef Jay, <laughs> facial hair. please tell me about this uh, bourbon pecan toffee. Ooh, that's our bourbon pecan toffee that we made here. A Cannabis Talk 101 with Heidi and Laron Oils. We made it infused and it came out incredible. The whole staff got to eat it. And uh, I heard the couple had to take a break for lunch to go home and take a nap. <laughs> oh, yes. I mean, you know, if you can go heavy infused, I did have the one that wasn't infused and it was delicious. Thank you. Absolutely delicious. Thank the pictures you. on this magazine look phenomenal. What else, Heidi, are we going to see in this magazine for people to learn or do? Um, there's a lot of really great contributors that I've had the pleasure of meeting um, a lot of them through you guys um, really? but at different trade shows, um, but a lot of a lot of people doing good things in cannabis. Um, and Lorianne also added some recipes as well. So there's easy things, there's simple things. So it's a good mix of recipes for all skill levels. And any everything is set up so you can make it infused or not infused. You know, I did want to add one of my, you know, recipes recipes to this, but it didn't make it. Entirely. I offered. I, did you? <laughs> yeah. No one even asked me. How sad oh. is that? Would you offer that too? I want to what's, what's, what's for what? what, what <laughs> recipe? Well, I mean, it depends. I mean, is this all baking? Is it just um, baking? No, no, it's there's everything. savory it's everything. stuff I mean, too. There's you could have put whatever you want. I could have put whatever I would have put my chili on hey, there. That would have been perfect. Oh. I have a chili. We'll have to do another one. We didn't have the chili. I, there's no chili on no, here? No, we couldn't no. have done your chili. There's a shrimp amazing, and grits that's fantastic. Is that Cam? Amazing. Did no. Cam do his own? Oh, it looks like our guy Cam. I Chef should have put O'Neal. my chili on there. Man, you know what we should do? We'll do... The Cannabis Talk 101. Yeah, I, I got to do one because I like cooking too. On, and I do a lot do of good it. enchiladas, oh, my tacos. Wait, this like, is gonna, I'm, all I'm, kinds I'm of a simple, little bit but, upset oh. at myself right now. I did not look through this magazine it's yet. Awesome. I'm yeah, telling yes. you right now. Oh, oh right. look at Chef Bill. We know him. You're right. These are a lot of the... Sh you know what's yeah. funny is I'm sitting here going, I don't know that many chefs. And I know like... Oh, we, know, we know a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. And I, I, but in my head when you said that, I'm like, I don't really know that many chefs. And I'm scrolling through. Oh, I know him. Oh, him. Oh, her. You know what's great, though, is that the community of chefs, is, especially in, in our industry, uh, and I guess all industries probably, it's just such a compassionate group, yes. right? People, yeah, they love baking. They make food for, for other people. It's something that I, I really believe resonates well with me because anybody that takes the time to cook for you, it's a big deal. Yeah. You know, they're yeah. showing a, you they care. It's a big deal. You know, I, I call it literally my love language. And it's yeah. so simple to me because when I even bring food here, my leftovers, like when I give it to people, I yeah. literally look at it as, here's my offering mm -hmm. to you. You yeah. know what I mean? And when I do that is because I cook this at home with my hands and I'll never forget my mom always saying this, mijo, the food's always going to taste different from everybody because of the oils in our hands. Oh. Like my mom used to cook phenomenal food, right? Everybody loved her and be like, Mom, how is your Manulo? This, that, so much better than everybody. Like everybody from craves hands, yours. From her hands. And she goes, Mijo, the oil's in my hands. That's wow. it. Wow. And she goes, and I cook with love. That's it. And from there, from her teaching me that as a kid, like tea cooking with love has always been my love language. Like when I bring leftovers, it's like my, here you go, try this, yes. try this. Because I made I this. I thought you were just trying to get us fat. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally my here way. And, and I think here. that's the true thing about food, right? I mean, we go yes. back to biblical terms of, 
Jesus breaking bread with folks at the, at the table there. Food breaks all barriers. Mm -hmm. Food, that's why when I cook for all the people that I do, A-list, celebrity, all that don't matter. Because the food brings you back to when you were childhood memories, your family, and your, 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 your roots. It nurtures you. That's what food is supposed to. That's why today we've got to be so careful what we eat because everything is terribly poisoned at the stores and all that. That's why we need farms. We got to really support our farmers and all these people now because a lot of terrible things happen to our food sources. Yeah, so wherever you're listening around the world, make sure you support your local farms yes. and buy from these farmer markets. And if you're ever so in Los important. Angeles and run run into some celebrities, go to the farmers markets in like Studio City, Burbank. Yep. You know what I mean, you'll see all the celebrities over there with their hats on yep. going, hey, this Sunday. is where we shot on, on Sundays. Sa but it's great, you guys. It's parked up baked right here, you guys. Heidi from Loran Oils. LoranOils.com is the website. Mm. Chef Jay wow. from Jay Farms. Thank you so much for showing us what you guys all do because Thank we you. greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Blue? Well, there it is, guys. It's Cannabis Talk 101 and parts unbaked. And if no one else loves you, we, we do. do.